Welcome, my name is uh, Olivier Font and I am a lecturer at the Pompidou Center in Paris. Located in the heart of the capital, the Pompidou Center is an emblematic building in the Parisian landscape. The structure, made of metal and glass, inaugurated in 1977, has been designed by architects Renzo Piano and Richard Roger. It had, in its time, greatly surprised by its audacity. It shocked, even. And I'm standing at the heart of the first European collection of modern and contemporary art, rich than more than 120,000 works. To be precise, I'm standing actually on the fourth floor of the museum, where is presented the contemporary collection. From the 60s, artists tended to emancipate themselves more and more from easel painting, giving rise to major trends in the 20th century art. New materials, new relations between art and the audience, new expectations will be proposed by movements such as Arte Povera, New Realist, using light movement, new technologies will lead to a kinetic or optical art. The collection presents exceptional ensembles of art from movements which contributed to change the artistic categories and try to install new relation with art, appealing all the senses of the spectator or trying to make interaction between art and the viewer. I propose to show you a choice of five art pieces chosen from the masterpieces of the Canterbury collections. I am standing in front of uh, Le Magasin, created by Ben and installed in the city of Nice on the French Riviera between 1958 and 1972. Originally, it was a shop where the artist was selling records, cameras, different types of objects, but it vastly became more than a shop, a gallery, an exhibition center, a place to debate about art. Uh, the artist said he really had a shock when looking at the art of Marcel Duchamp, the one who claims that urinal are artworks. In this idea, Ben was convinced that every object is potentially an art piece. This explains why he pins most of the objects directly on the walls. The debate about art is also constructed about the sentences, a classical artwork now for Ben, with the specific writing, white and black. He explains art on what may seem casual conversation or philosophical words. My kid can do it. Mon gamin, il peut faire ça. The apparent facility is one thing. Si je peins, c'est pour la gloire. If I paint, it's for glory. What are the reasons that are pushing people, some, to be artists? The idea of Ben is clear. He wants to break the boundaries between the viewer and the artist. Toute personne qui passe par cette porte devient sculpture vivante. Every person who goes through that door becomes living sculpture. This shop was a constantly changing shop by the support, the creation made by the visitors themselves. And this assemblage construction, this strange theater, became one of the most popular place of what used to be called the School of Nice. Uh, close to the Fluxus movement. I am currently standing in one of the most popular installations of the museum. Most of the public call this place the cave, but the real name, the real title for this installation is the Winter Garden, and it has been created by French artist Jean Dubuffet between 1968 and 1970. It's really a place apart in the museum for the sensations of space, 
The sound helps also for their separation. We use an infinity variety of black and white lines, sometimes up, sometimes down. He really transformed the vision we have of the whole space. We can, of course, just like uh, in the midst of the cavern of Plato, guess some drawings, some silhouettes or shapes. But the idea is mostly uh, to be lost in the creations of the artist. Dubuffet was extremely inspired by people that he named in them of culture, having a look at children drawings, mad, mentally disabled persons will be another source of reference. He really reinvented different types of art in his production. I am standing close to an installation realized between 1972 and 1974 by the artist Yaakov Agam. Uh, if I had to choose a, a work in our collections that could symbolize the entire collections, I would choose this installation. It reminds me in many ways by the stretches or the lines, the colors, the architecture of the center itself. This specific artwork, Link, with kinetic art, is also very popular in the 70s. The strange proposition is that it was originally an order from Georges Pompidou, French president, who wanted to create a room between the public spaces and the private apartments in the Palais l'Elysée, where usually the French presidents are staying. If you come to see this installation, you have to move along the panels. You must see how the installation constantly changes the point of views. If it's linked with movement, a specificity of kinetic art. The installation is also playing with specific points of view. Optical effects, it belongs to up art, are also emerging from the surfaces. Please have a specific look about the sculpture that stands in the middle, and more especially the sphera. You're gonna be amazed by an optical effect that reveals more than what you can see. I am totally surrounded by the bronze color of the installation of the Italian artist Giuseppe Penone. But if I notice the color, there's one thing that you may miss, the smell. Many artists since the beginning of the 20th century have been trying to play with all the senses of the visitor in a certain idea of total art. We are breathing the installation more than we are seeing it. That's the first element I would like to notice. The artist belongs to a movement called Arte Povera. They were, in a certain way, totally opposed to movements linked with society of consummation, such as pop artist or the new realist. They were refusing to use new technology, and most of them, Giuseppe Penon included, were using natural materials. Bear leaf is one of his favorite, just like trees. The title has a specific meaning when are appearing the lunges realized with leaves covered with gold. It incarnates the breathing, which is usually unconscious. It's also maybe an echo for this Italian artist to long traditions. Daphnis used to be changed into a tree in the ancient mythologies. I am facing Precious Liquids, an installation made by a French-born American artist, Louis Bourgeois, in 1992. We could wonder why artists are doing art, what are the sources of their wills. It's clearly written for Louis Bourgeois outside this water tank. Art is a guarantee of sanity. 
She made of her use the experiments of her life the subjects of his art. She originally lived in the suburbia of Paris in a family that was restoring tapestry. But one day she discovered that her nurse was having an affair with his father and that loving place became a place for betrayal. The contrast are one of the elements who are developed throughout the works of Louise Bourgeois. Symbolic materials such as glass, the transparency, the fragility are opposed to the roughness, the cold and the solidity of the metal. Symbolic objects representing the father, femininity or masculinity are very often present. This black coat covering a small child dress is symbolically representing the father and Eden, the presence of the child. This universe, extremely intimate, is shared with the public that can recognize elements who are present in our inner lives. This duality of public and intimate is commonly presented in artworks in the 20th century.